Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and thanks for watching. You might hear a bit of a nasal sound, it's because I'm sad. <laughs> So yeah, so I've been a bit unwell, but in this sort of industry, the show must go on. So this is definitely a video more for people who sing, but if you, if you, I mean, it's for everyone, anyone can watch, but if you're bored, just watch it anyway. I need the views. So today, like in the description, these are the five ways that I prepare before a gig. I'm really disciplined in that way because I like to be at my A game by the time I'm on stage. When I feel underprepared, you're just gonna feel uncomfortable on stage. Okay, rule number one. I do not like to drink alcohol the night before a gig. And that includes any time during the day before a gig. So if I'm performing on a Saturday night, I don't drink the Friday night nor any time on Saturday day before a gig. That might seem a bit strange. That's not everyone's rule. It's my particular rule and my particular discipline. The reason why I do that is because alcohol tends to dry out my voice. You know, it dehydrates you. That's why you need to drink so much water. There is the occasional time that I might have a celebration of some sort on the Friday or maybe the Saturday before. And look, that that's fine. I'm not, I'm not, I just spat right at the camera. Oh my gosh, you're good, you're good. Now this is probably the rule that I am the strictest about. However, if there's a celebration of some sort, say it's my birthday the night before, or someone's birthday, you know, I'll have a drink, perhaps. Sometimes I just still don't. It works for me. I had chronic laryngitis last year, and all that during that time, I had to really stick to to that rule. I couldn't drink alcohol the night before or any time during the day because I could not risk my voice drying up because therefore I don't feel like I can get that resonance. I can't get that power that I like to get. So that's rule number one. Rule number two. This is one that I'm a bit lenient on <laughs> and I'll explain why. It's to exercise during the day before the gig. And that can be just any sort. It can be from just walking the dog, going to the gym, if it's doing high intensity, if it's doing anything, just something that makes me feel ready for the day, makes me feel like I'm in tune a bit more with myself to get that blood flowing and blood moving. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Number three. I eat a small meal three hours before I perform. Now that seems weird, right? So I'll explain. If you're having dinner or lunch after a gig, that's fine. But if you're having a, a gig that's like late at night, say it starts at 8.30 and you wanna have dinner before then, obviously, because by the time you finish the whole gig, it'll be like 11.30 at night, which is too late. I tend to have a very light, small meal three hours before my gig. If I have something too heavy or really close to before I sing, I just start belching all the way through my performances and that's not even, that, that's not cute. Instead, I just have a really small meal that I can just digest slowly within those three hours before I perform and I'm set. Number four. Yeah, obviously before I go on stage and sing, I have to warm up my voice. If I have a morning gig, I have to get up three hours before. Say my gig is at 10 o'clock in the morning, I will get up at seven o'clock in the morning because that gives my, my voice a chance to warm up all during the day, whether it's three hours before my gig when I first wake up in the morning or just all the way, all the hours before my gig at night, I will just be warming everything up. I won't be screaming, I won't be shouting during the day. I just keep it nice and simple. Then about two hours before my gig, I do vocal warm-ups, going up and down the scales, breathing exercises, all that sort of stuff to really properly get my voice ready to go. Oh God, I'm gonna sneeze. <coughs> Oh, number five. My final thing I do before I go on stage is I don't really talk. I know, right? Like that even exists. Me, not talk? Are you kidding me? Do you even know me? I basically just distance myself from everyone, <laughs> which can make me sound like a bit of a diva. It's not about me not wanting to talk to anyone. It's because I genuinely have to take care of my voice. I've had a lot of issues in the past year. I suffered from chronic laryngitis and I had to see a speech therapist. It turns out I had great technique when it came to singing. 
I didn't know how to speak properly. Who doesn't even know how to speak properly, but they can sing properly? Me, that's who. So I saw her and I got myself all back on track again. My final point is that I just do some minimal talking. I need to conserve myself. I need to conserve my energy, conserve my voice. You know, I'll probably do a little bit of like a, hey, how are you? So, you know, if people have come specifically to see me, I will talk to them and stuff. And you know, if I'm performing at a gig where it's really loud music out the front, I'll stay backstage so I can just sort of talk quietly and or just not talk at all. Because if I went out there and started chatting to my friends and, <laughs> and my voice would just be ruined. So if I'm, if I'm not talking to you before a gig, it's nothing to do with you. I hope you enjoyed this video. Look, if you could think of anything that I haven't said that you do as a singer or as any sort of musician that you'd like to do before you go on stage, please let me know, I'll try it out. Or vice versa, if I've said something that I do that you've never tried before and you've tried it and you thought, oh yeah, that works for me, please let me know. Tell me what you think. I'd love to know if I've been able to help you and I would definitely tell you if you've been able to help me out. Anyway, please like, please subscribe, Please, you know, all the usual jazz. Thank you for your support. And I hope you guys have a great week. I will speak to you soon. Bye! Oh my God, that's so weird. I'm gonna go and just have like honey and tea. Where's my tissue box? Okay, bye.